With Crestron's powerful Home OS, you have the ability to schedule the scenes and the macros you've created to activate at certain times of day. And we're gonna show you how to do it, you know, in under one minute. If you've been following along in our series of videos, you've learned how to do all kinds of things with your Crestron Home, creating light scenes and shade scenes, media macros, and in this video, I feel like it's the last in the series where we learn how to schedule those scenes and macros that you've created to automatically activate based on time of day. Maybe that's by the hour, like 7 a.m. or 8 p.m. Or maybe it's by the astronomical clock, like dawn and dusk. We're going to show you how to do that in this video. If you haven't seen the other videos in the series, you can find a playlist right here to all the videos to learn just how much you can do with your Crestron Home. I'm gonna set the bar really high in this video too. I think I can do two scheduled events in under one minute. I mean, like, why not? This is like graduating class, we're seniors in June, we're feeling really positive, and I'm gonna set the bar high. Let's see if we can get it done. Since I'm gonna set the bar high, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things. First, that you've heard in the other videos that I wanna get out of the way before I start that timer. So, the, uh, there's two apps for Crestron Home, right? The Crestron Home app that you use every single day to control the home, that your integrator, whether your Crestron dealer, whether that was us or someone else, would have installed on your tablets and your phones. There's a second app that they should have installed for you, Crestron Home Setup. That's the app where you can do some of more of the advanced features like scheduling. And that app should be installed on your tablet. I don't think it works, there's, there's not one for the phone and they should have activated the advanced user. It's the user that you can get into some of the advanced things like the scheduling, and the username is advanced user, all one word, all lowercase, and the password is a password that was give, given for that user. Here in these video series, we've kind of been tongue in cheek and used the uh, worst password in the world, as I call it, the word password, but you're not gonna do that for your uh, user. You're, I'm sure you're gonna have a nice secure password along with this one and all the other ones that you use in your life. In our video, we're gonna use our iPad. We've got both of those apps installed and we're gonna go right into the home setup app. Start that clock. So here we are in the home setup. We hit the two bars at the bottom. We hit the settings, we hit configure. This is where we put in advanced user and the password. And there we are, right in the middle, system scheduling. Press that, we have no scheduled events. Let's make one. You know what? I want my landscape at dusk. There we go, that's the name we're gonna go with. It's gonna happen every single day it's going to go by astronomical clock and it is going to be sunset and let's say plus 15 minutes. We're going to go to the outside and we're going to turn them all on and that's it. We're done. Let's go on to our second one. Here you go. This is going to be cable in media room. I want to schedule that. Sure. Why not? So that's going to be every single day at 6 a.m. when I'm getting up because I want to watch the news. So, oh, not in the media room. It's in the whole house and cable in the media room. We're done. That's it. That's two scheduled events. And I, that's got to be less than a minute. I'm sure. We'll slow it down now. Scheduled events. How about there's certain things I want to do in the morning. I want to turn on some lights. You know, here in the shop, I like to raise the shades and I want to turn on the lights in the warehouse before the guys get in so that they're not walking into a dark warehouse. That's a great use of scheduled events. We have a scene in the warehouse, uh, shop lights on at 50% and with scheduling, we can do that. So let's hit the plus and say shop lights morning. And as I said, 7.15, we're in for 7.30 a.m. We go over to our warehouse and we pick the stock at 50%. As they walk in the morning, they're never gonna come into an empty dark, dark warehouse. It's going, the light's gonna automatically be on. That's a convenience, right? Well, how about in our offices, I wanna raise the shades and let the light in. So let's create another one. And that would be shades 
in morning is a great name. And 7.30, right as we're coming into the office, we can do that. AM. And the office, we want Jared's and Chris Shades open. That's it. We've created like four scheduled events in no time flat. You really have a lot of flexibility here, right? Turning your landscape lights on at dusk. That saves energy. We're not turning them on at five o'clock in August when it doesn't get dark until eight or nine. And we're not having them off and not coming on till 9 p.m. in the winter time when they should be on earlier. That astronomical clock really helps you. And you see that right here, the little sun and the cloud. If you press that, you get the option to pick sunrise or sunset and a amount of time before or after. Maybe your area is a little more shaded and you want to have them on 15 minutes prior to, sun to sunset. That's when they should come on for you. You do that here. Another great thing would be, well, what if I leave my landscape lights on all night? I'm just wasting energy. Go ahead, right in here in the scheduler and create a landscape all off. And maybe you make it for midnight or one or two in the morning. And that way, if you haven't already turned it off by using one, you know, the app on your phone or a button on a keypad, it will automatically make sure those lights are turned off for you uh, by the time that you said, look, we're all in the house. We're all asleep. We don't want, we don't need them on anymore at that time. And they've gone off. One other thing I want to show you is that you don't need to just schedule one thing in, in a scheduled event or add one action into a scheduled event as we did here, as we ran through them, right? We can have many things. Let's say that in the morning, I want to raise the shades and turn on some lights, both in the office and in the warehouse. And I want to turn on the cable television and put it onto the news station. And you know what? Let's play some music in the warehouse to entertain them. We can do all of that in one scheduled event. We'll do that now. So I don't know, what should we give it? We'll just call it morning setup because it's the setup that we're gonna do. It's gonna be in the morning and it's gonna be only during the week. We have an office here. We're not here on Saturdays and Sundays. So let's uncheck Saturday and uncheck Sunday. I don't wanna do this by astronomical clock because we always come in at the same time. We're going to set it for 7 a.m. just to be different than the other macros or scheduled events we just created. So here we are at 7 a.m. every weekday, right? So we want to turn on the um, Sonos in the warehouse, right? So we're going to play some music for them. And we want to turn on the cable in the media room for those of us coming into the front office. Check the news. That's great. Well, listen, we're coming into the front office. We need to turn some lights on. So let's turn... Uh, all the lights on. And again here, let's raise our shades to 50%. I know that that's redundant to another scheduled event that we just created, but I'm just showing you how you can do many things in one event. At this point, with this multi-event uh, scheduled event, we could multi-action scheduled event. We can go and delete those other ones if we really wanted to. So now we've got the lights on in the office. The shades are opening up. Cable is playing. Music in the warehouse. I don't think we turn on any lights in the warehouse. So let's go back to the warehouse and turn those stock lights on at 50%. There you go. You can see from this page right here that it's affecting different items in three different rooms. They're colored blue. They show you that like there's something going on here. And so if you click into there, you can see what they are with the little check marks. And if you did something like schedule all the lights on and all the lights off at the same time, let me do that now. All on is, is already in the event. Let's do all off. Oh, we get a little exc exclamation point. That's saying that, you know, you're doing something that is doing two opposite things at the same time. You probably don't want to do that. It's just making you aware of it. All right, so let's undo that. So there you go. We've created several scheduled events that fire both time of day and via the astronomical clock. We've done events that just do one action and we've got an event that does many actions. The power is in your hands. As the homeowner, you don't need to call your programmer. You don't need to have us come out. You can do this yourself with your tablet and the Crestron Home Setup app. I hope you found that video interesting. 
I hope you found the whole series interesting. If we can help you in any way, reach out to us at our contact information below. Please give this video a thumbs up, a like, and consider subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate your watching. Thank you.